let's add some more features to our program. This time when I input a number inside the text field and click on button two, that value is going to get multiplied by two and then it will get displayed in the label. To do this, we'll first need to grab the number from the text field using get text. However, the get text method will return the value as a string, even if the user types a number. So before we can use that value in a multiplication operation, we'll need to first convert it into a numeric data type, such as an integer or a double perhaps. And then once we've performed the operation with the converted data, we will display the result in the label using the setText method. However, setText needs the argument to be a string, but the result of a multiplication operation will be in a numeric data type. So we will then need to convert the result into a string in order to be able to display it in the label. Here's a recap of our steps. Get the value that the user types in the input field, convert that value into a numeric type, perform the multiplication operation, convert the result into a string, and then display it in the label. Now let's edit our code. Let's go inside the if statement for button two, and let's remove this print statement. When button two gets clicked, we first grab the content of the input field and assign it to a variable. String val is equal to input.getText. This will get the text that is currently inside the input text field at the time of the click, and it gets stored in a variable called val. And then we do a conversion from string to a numeric type. Let's use the double data type to convert a string that is made up of numerical characters into a double. We use double dot parse double. And we pass with the value that we want to convert, which in this case is val. Let me just put that here in the next line. And then let's just go ahead and assign it to a variable double n. And now we can perform the multiplication operation. Let's declare another variable, double result is equal to n times two. We then do a conversion from double to string so that we can display the result in the J label. Let's just write that in one statement instead of making another variable we say label.setText and then in the parentheses we type double dot to string and pass result to double dot to string. Double dot to string converts a double value into a string. And then we pass that converted value to the setText method so that it gets displayed in the label. And now we are ready to test this. Java C asterisk.java. Java GUI tester. I will type 1.5 in the input field, and then I'll click button two, and then I get 3.0 displayed in the label. And that's it. When working with text fields and labels, always remember that they work with string data, even if the value is made up of numerical characters. So if you need to do arithmetic operations using those values, then you must parse them into one of the numeric data types first and then convert the result into a string so that you can display it in a text field or a label.